Andrew's moving. I am. That's why I sound like shit. Do an intro. Oh, what? what? Wait, you did the last one. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, it's not my turn at all. I think it's uh, Jackson's turn. Does anybody have an up-to-date tally on who's done the most intros now? Mm. Ooh. Ooh, Charlie that Sneeze, that means he volunteers. Now, I'll do- hey everyone, welcome to the New Year's episode. Okay, shut up, of Super the Blooper says podcast. I'm still in last. Shut up, abort. All hey right. everybody, Never welcome mind. to the- <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Jackson. Welcome back to the official podcast in the New Year, because that's when most people are going to be listening to this. This is episode 108 coming out on 2nd of January and 3rd of January for those of you listening on the video platforms. And today we'll be talking about the only game that's not yet banned in China, Gears of War. You mean Charlie, Smash take Brothers? We, we've <laughs> talked enough about Smash Brothers. Uh, Gears you of sure War you don't want a... three episodes in a row about Smash Brothers? I mean, we, yeah. could, we could work it in. There's people just on the edge of their seat. They heard the name Gears of War and they're salivating for more info. It's the pride yeah. of China at the moment. <laughs> Pride of China is a fucking the American shooter game. The only game you don't need a VPN to play. <laughs> Let's roll. Tell us about it, Charlie. Why do you play pe- people still played and when did it even come out? Oh, I have no idea. It might have come out this year, last year. I have no idea. The, the only reason Kai is bringing it up is because when we were waiting for Andrew to stop like fumbling around shitting on his computer, I went on Twitch and it turns out there's a Gears of War 4 tournament and I was just taken aback and shocked that there were still enough people playing that game to form two teams. Yeah, I guess... It's not uh, surprising. I, it's not surprising, though, because it's, like, the only game on the Xbox. Yeah. I guess I guess we'll uh, get this on the record, then. Hi, everyone. I'm in the middle of moving right now, so I'm currently recording in uh, Charlie's fucking media room, which is big and echoey. But uh, Way to make this exciting news about the Gears of War tournament exactly. all about Exactly. It's all about me. But hey, if, we're, if I'm going to sound like shit for the rest <laughs> of the episode, more so than usual, I thought people should uh, have the uh, official statement on it. It's not my fault. Well, it is, but fuck you. Anyway. They can wait for the press release after the episode. Yeah, after yes. the tournament, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, back to, the, back to the Gears tournament. You said it's Gears of War 4, not the original? Yeah, well, yeah, it's Gears of War 4. Uh, I guess that's the newest one. I looked it up. It came out in 2016, so it's two years old. It's just, I think all of us can agree that it's shocking to imagine that there's still some sad sacks out there playing Gears of War franchise when it's just such a stillborn abomination of what it used to be. So Is it a niche game like Worms, where no. there's people still on Worms with their original CD kicking poor streamers' asses like ours? Yeah, I think it's a very niche game. Uh... And that's because I haven't heard anything about it, so I'm gonna say it probably isn't very popular. If you okay, if you YouTube Gears of War Four, I just did it. The first result is PC aimbot hacker rage quits Gears Four gameplay from three days ago, nine k views. Under that is from a week, three k. So I guess the online presence of Gears of War is not very big, but I guess anyone that's still stranded on like an Xbox probably plays it sometimes. Maybe that'd be my guess. always Horde mode. Yeah. Well, isn't isn't there a uh, really diehard fan base that only plays the first one and still keeps the first one kind of alive? Yeah, the first one still has. It's like every game game. franchise. Mm -hmm. Well, usually in uh, usually in franchises though, there's an established like best most popular one. Like with the uh, with the Battlefield community, Battlefield Four is pretty much still the most played one. But it's you know it's not the first one, so I'm wondering if Ge- about, in Gears of War. What about Battlefield 2041 hmm. two or whatever it's called? Tw- 2049, I think that died super hard. The game was Ooh. great, but it's dead. But I'm, I'm just wondering if in the oh, Gears of War circles, if the first one is like the holy yeah. grail, the one that everyone says you is the went best. To, you went to Blade Runner there with. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. I've been corrected. That, was sad. that upset me a little bit the other day because apparently Blade Runner had its um, canon anniversary or whatever you would call it. Mm-hmm. Like um, a week ago is when Blade Runner, the first movie, takes place in 2018. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it's that's a little, cool. You know, we're, we're way behind. <laughs> a little underwhelming. If there was, a, if there was a time traveler coming here today and he's like, yeah, what did you, you, you flying cars? Yeah, no, you, you have you have smartwatches and it it tells you when you sleep. Well, that's, that's kind of fucking lame. What what are you guys doing here? This is stupid. Where's your robot revolution? Is, yeah, is Smash fucking still loses. around? 
<laughs> yeah, what Smash are we on? How many characters are there? Is James Bond in Smash yet? I'm asking the important questions. God. Man, it's always a bummer when you see how underwhelming those movies are, and sort of how underwhelming reality is compared to those movies. Yeah. 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 At this point, I'm thinking if I wrote a movie, I would make sure to write it like in the year 10 million thousand or something, so everybody who sees it dies by the time. <laughs> So nobody can call me out for being short-sighted or something. See, but because when you make it, like, when did the first Blade Runner come out again? 80s. 1984, I think? Yeah, like, a lot of the people who saw it are very likely to be alive by 2018 then, which means that they would have been able to call you out on how short-sighted you were. That's the problems. That's a problem, sorry. See, yeah, but Back to I, the Future was worse, though. It took place in, like, the year 2002. Like, we weren't even close. <laughs> All we had we was, yeah, off. no hoverboards and shit. But, hey, we got self-lacing sneakers. We had so. Heelys. Yeah. <laughs> See, but I, I never feel bad about that, though, because for every movie you get like that with a utopic feature, you get a Mad Max where it's like, fuck, man, look how great our lives are. Look how, look how happy we are. How easy it yeah, is. Yeah, that too. But God, I hate I hate this fucking messaging that Hollywood always has to put in this. We didn't listen to the scientists when they told us about the dangers <laughs> of global warming. <laughs> like, half the fuckers writing this are anti-vaxxers. By the way, I've been <laughs> sick the past week. And when you get sick, there's this thing where, you know... When it's not your fault, you kind of get mad about being sick. Like, I take care of myself, I, I sleep, I eat elf healthy, I intermittently fast, I work out, I take my vitamins, I eat lots of fruits and veggies. And then when you get sick, you're like, really? Still? What the fuck do I have to do? And I can't help but wonder, is this the fault of the anti-vaxxers? Is this some mutated <laughs> strain of the... Is, is this Ebola again? What is this? Did they bring back some ancient, archaic caveman virus to take me down what in the 21st have? century? I have no idea what I have, Jackson, but two days ago, I was, I was feeling fucking terrible. It was like sleep deprivation, a hangover mm. combined into one, even though I hadn't done anything. Jesus. I hadn't even eaten anything, and I was about to puke when we were recording that episode. I was actively focusing on not trying to fall over. Today I have a really sore throat. I can barely talk. <laughs> You've spoken Thanks more to... than any of us this episode. <laughs> Thanks to He's talking warm. <laughs> Thanks to warm coffee. Thanks to warm coffee. Coffee, the savior of the day, yet again, the best invention mankind has ever come up with. But you know, Blade I kind of get angry. Coffee. Yeah, that's true. I get angry. It's and just Kai's it... demise. You know, these <laughs> movies all like, oh, you know, we didn't listen. Oh, we destroyed ourselves. I, when I was watching Mortal Engines, it bothered the fucking shit out of me. Watching these characters on screen doing this cliche song and dance about how we're going to destroy ourselves and send ourselves back to the Stone Ages. You don't vaccinate your children! Like some, some douchebag in Hollywood came up with this story while he was presumably making some herbal tea for his child's whooping cough because he didn't vaccinate the kid, sending him to his Beverly Hills school. You piece of shit, you're condescending to me? I'm, I'm vaccinated. I will vaccinate my children. I will pay out of pocket to vaccinate my nephew if I have to. I, uh, and you're condescending to me? I really, I'm the problem? I really, I really, really love the visual of, oh dear, Timmy has whooping cough. I'll make him some tea. Yeah! Fucking Tim, what was that idiot's name? The, the, the guy, Apple. Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs eating apple to cure cancer, but oh uh, yeah, I'm the dummy. Yeah, because I ruined the world then, yeah, didn't I? Because of global warming. Really gotta put that in your fucking movie script. I'm the problem with, I'm what's wrong with the planet, not you for eating cucumbers Wait, to cure cancer. What? They specifically called you out? What do you mean? No, a, a gen it's a general statement agents? about like uh, how people yeah, don't Yeah, Jackson, listen. you know yeah. how almost every post-apocalyptic movie <clears throat> starts with this premise of, oh, mankind's hubris. We did not listen to those who warned us about global warming. Like, you basically think the earth is flat, cunt. Like, you don't <laughs> think germs are a thing. 
Why are you talking down to us, making these, writing these scripts? Oh, God, they make me so goddamn angry. I'm happy those fires happened. What, whatever happened to those fires? Is that still around? Did they extinguish those wildfires? Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, what the fuck is going on with those fires? I <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard about them. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> was it just they entered mid? Hollywood and immediately got molested and date raped, so they're out. <laughs> <laughs> but it was paid to keep it under wraps. <laughs> Wow. I mean, yeah, I haven't heard shit about it in a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's a lost job. Yeah, did Duke Nukem take care of this job or something? Where the fuck did these fires go? <laughs> to answer your question, though, well, I don't think it was really a question. I think it was a, a rant, but to answer it anyway, it's just, I think it's more dig- digestible for audiences if they've got something they feel like they relate to. So that's why it's more mainstream to talk about how the earth is failing. Global yeah, no shit. Sure. The Earth is failing, and we're it's our fault. But you know, could we address something more urgent <laughs> as well? Which is these guys are creating superbugs that are at some point going to murder us all. I mean, there there is a very big problem with third world countries pumping their livestock full of steroids and other antibiotics, which then breed super viruses in that meat which we consume. And these idiots in Beverly Hills not. Va- you have millions of dollars and you can't send your kid to a doctor with a doctorate? What the hell? What are you doing? Who are you bringing these kids to? To, to some sort of a spirits reading voodoo ritualist? Well, maybe they don't get it. Maybe they've got the right idea. Maybe that's the actual solution. Yeah, they're not sick. You are, loser. Yeah, th- I don't see them getting sick. <laughs> yeah, ex- yeah, except all their kids have whooping cough. Well, I haven't heard yeah. anything about their kids. Well... If their kids were dead, they probably wouldn't report it. They could probably pay to keep that story hushed. Yeah, maybe. I God, these people are so fucking stupid. Remember when, um, what was that guy's name in Password Swordfish, the main bad guy? John Travolta. John Travolta, yeah. Remember when his kid died because he wouldn't take him to a psychiatrist because in Scientology, <laughs> psychiatrists <laughs> are haram, are forbidden. Psychi- psychiatry in psychology, in Scientology, is considered to be an evil thing. Really? Because... Yeah, they because it's assumed that they meddle with your soul or some shit and that they manipulate you. So John Travolta just let his kid die of a seizure or some shit because he didn't want to take the kid to a psychiatrist and get him medicated. So the kid died. Remember that, everybody? Yeah, those are the geniuses writing these movies, telling us we're the goddamn dummies. Suck my wow. dick. I actually didn't know that. I thought um, Travolta's son was the one that slipped in the shower. Yeah, but this is the reason why. Because of like, Scientology, re- he no, slipped no, no, in the shower. It's not. It's <laughs> no, no. He had a medical condition. Oh, oh. So he had a he didn't seizure. Just, okay. He didn't just slip on a banana peel like a cartoon. Like this idiot, this dummy, well, to- refused to take his kid to see actual, real life medical help because of Scientology. I, I mean, I'm not. I wouldn't dump on Charlie for that though. Slipping in the shower is something that very easily can happen to literally any human, but the fact that it totally happened because people. he had a condition, then that's scary. Yeah, I didn't know that, but I... I, I well, that's I, what John Travolta wants you to believe. <laughs> yeah, he actually murdered his son, and it's the perfect cover-up. <laughs> I, I looked it up. Kai is right, yeah. Uh, it was an untreated seizure condition. Oh my god. And he yeah, had, a, he had a seizure, who, you, and he had a history of seizures. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> God, this, this it pisses me off so much. Like, the kid was 16 years old, which is literally, like, half of our viewership is 16. And to think that you don't... Ki- he has see- How do you watch your own child have a seizure and you just sit there going, oh, oh, well, can't take him to a doctor. That's not that's not kosher. What the he'll fuck? He'll grow out of it. Yeah, he'll grow out of it. That's just the thetans in his body. All he has to do is pray more to L. Ron Hubbard's fucking cartoon comic books. <laughs> Zenu, retards. Zenu will save his son. Lord Zenu, please help. <laughs> As he's like sacrificing money to a fire. It's them. This is the people. These are the kind of people who are writing these scripts. It's fucking Bill Maher going, well, I'm not sure if germs are real. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I forgot about that one, yeah. Yeah, that's a well, good one. No one's ever proven germs exist. <laughs> yes. like, we're sitting here making fun of flat earthers yeah flat earth- earthers are pretty fucking stupid and retarded but you know, they don't hold though. any power huh yeah 
they're harmless flat earthers. Yeah, they're not going to change the most anyone's part, mind. Yeah. Well, actually, they're taking themselves out because they're launching themselves in homemade rockets and crippling themselves <laughs> for life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Please tell me it's an actual thing. Yeah. Somebody should come up with a flat earther challenge where you have to launch yourself out of a cannon like a circus act, and then survive or something and report the results. Yeah, Contest. Jackson, was uh, was that the episode you weren't here for? Yeah, Jackson missed that one. I, oh. I brought that up. Oh. There, was a, there was a flat earth lunatic who got like crowdfunding people to s- give him money to build a homemade rocket ship to launch himself into orbit so he could take pictures of the flat earth from his backyard, but it malfunctioned and he hurt himself. <laughs> <laughs> Crippled himself. Well, he, he got over oh, it. He, I think uh. it was only like a minor leg destruction or something i don't know uh, a minor leg destruction <laughs> yeah I, I don't remember a what minor the... setback <laughs> yeah, really. so the, okay this episode was um jackson when we bonus. talked about we had on carl on the bonus this is when it came up because he had listened to some four hour long flat earther podcast to rate it and i checked out some of the twitter accounts that are related to that podcast and these people genuinely believe this shit so i was personally interested in how they explain gravity and i found out through through a meme that they posted which i can't be bothered to dig up now but it's on their twitter somewhere they think gravity isn't the thing but buoyancy is so when you throw something in the water and it floats but if it's heavier it uh falls down right that that's what we call buoyancy right so they think that's what gravity is because an apple is more dense than air apple will fall to the ground that's not gravity, it's just buoyancy. Mm. That's their logic, completely, what of course, ignoring the buoyancy. What the fuck is the point of that, then? You know, I mean, they. I guess, presumably, they don't know that buoyancy is only a thing because gravity is a thing, but that's their logic, is apple is more dense than air, therefore apple fall to ground. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like the Earth is just a massive ocean? Uh, yeah, I guess so. The, the air is the water to our ocean. <laughs> In their theory, it's a really convoluted like. way. It of really it, is. It's upsetting me to hear Everything's convoluted about what they believe. I think hearing that's like somehow more stupid than just thinking the Earth's flat for no reason. Well, it's when you justify you know I mean? something fucking dumb. Like if I'm trying to justify that uh, fire is the work of Zenu or something, me justifying <laughs> that's going to sound stupider than me just saying, "Yeah, it's just because I think that way." I'm just going to look. Well, I think you could have a good argument for that. I think you could well, come up with a good argument. It's, 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 good people, it's people wanting to feel like their stuff is justified in the first place. It's where mm-hmm. they think, they go, oh, well, that makes sense. And then when people go, well, wait, are you fucking stupid? They go, no, no, uh, well, just, you know, it does this because of that. And yeah, and they just start connecting puzzle pieces until they think that they, they found a way to sound like they make sense. And string together like a nonsensical shit that sounds educated exactly you, you know about the higgs boson particle yeah well uh you know yeah it's flat it's because of people talking about uh, things without any kind of authority or actual research into them and then other people pick up on it and it's like a massive game of chinese whispers all right i found i found the image with the buoyancy meme so if you're in the patron discord you can check it out unbelievable these people are geniuses Smart people. No gravity. It just doesn't even make sense to me. If that's your concept where you explain it's all about the density of things sinking and floating, then wouldn't technically you just say, okay, then gravity is buoyancy in the air. Same fucking thing. Literally same exact goddamn thing. It, it, uh, yeah. it doesn't work. It does not. I just can't grasp this. No matter how they reword it or rephrase it, it's still gravity. They're not disproving anything. They're just renaming it. It's the stupidest shit on earth. Oh my I mean, God. I, what I don't get is what, why do you have a beef with, with uh, gravity anyway? Just exactly. Gravity, gravity works on a flat earth too. Why do, you have, <laughs> why do you have to disprove it? I don't get it. I just yes. don't fucking get That's it. That's a really good point. They just chose someone else from like the fucking kickball team to bully for no reason. <laughs> they could have just kept gravity there. You, you know what happened? Honestly, some flat earther sat down and he went, the earth's flat and here's all my research. And someone went, well, how do you explain this? And he went, uh, well, of course it's because there's, and he was like fucking searching his 
science buoyancy. textbook. There's buoyancy in the air. Yeah, you didn't consider that. Uh, and there's uh, no, um, what, what do I have here? No gravity. So, yeah, I'm right. You're wrong. That's exactly what it, what it was. They made it up on the spot to justify their dumb shittery. I don't know how the hell this happens, man. Like, this Twitter account that I'm following, the it's called the Flat Earthers, but the S is a Z. It's the flat oh, earth. They're, they're relatable and cool. And it, it, yeah. it has so many memes that they make. Some boomers sitting down and making memes about how uh, a deflated soccer ball proves that the earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at it. Uh, you know, that, I wasn't a flat earther until I looked at that one. Ball really? doesn't hold water, but a flat ball does. They're right, because a soccer ball has the exact same density, size, and proportions of the planet Earth. My God, <laughs> it makes complete sense. Well, actually, when you think about it that way... No, um, shut the fuck up! Don't even, <laughs> don't even try to make people think that you're right in any way. Even if they, we're all joking, I don't want anyone listening to this think in any way that we condone this. I think there's yeah, a lot of I merit mean, to just, that one. This account has 3,000-something, like 3,500 followers, and I can't help but imagine that 3,000 of them are in Beverly Hills, oh, yeah. L.A., somewhere. Uh, John Travolta. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, John Trouble to like he runs germs. The... Go ahead. There weren't any germs on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> the astronauts went to the moon. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin. When they came back, no germs. How do you explain that? Well, they, I guarantee they don't believe in the moon landing. What are you talking about? Oh no, about? fuck no. Oh, there's some memes about not. that too, Charlie. Charlie, come up with anything retarded, and there's a meme about it on this page. Why somehow that's disproven? Oh my god! Yeah. Singular... Do they think? Do they think the moon is uh, flat as well? Yeah, like I yeah. said, I think from what I understand, they think all planets are flat, and it's just lucky that they're all facing us because it makes it look <laughs> like they're round. <laughs> Thank God they don't... Well, how many planets out there are face sideways that we don't know about? That could be a planet right in front of us, for all we know. We just can't see it. It's paper thin like Flats the Flounder from Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god, land. we are the most astronomically lucky thing in the entire universe that every single other planet coincidentally is facing us at the absolute perfect angle. Wait, did it if yeah. Well, uh, yeah, they, 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 they don't think that the uh, moon landing happened. I was going to say, though, if the moon's flat facing us, how could we land on it? Because we wouldn't be able to land on oh anything. It's just like off. a wall. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a wall. What are we going to do? Wall run on the moon? <laughs> <laughs> right, so you hit it. It's just like Mario Galaxy. Spider-Man it. What a it just seems like three idiots. shapes in general are too hard for them to comprehend. Oh god. Well, I, I disagree, Jackson. They understand soccer balls. What the fuck is a lot? <laughs> I, I I don't get what the hell do you get out of this? Even if if everybody on Earth believed flat Earth, okay, what do you have now? What? A, what a religion. Let me rephrase that. What do the evil Jewish cabal Illuminati gain out of making us believe that the Earth is round? Control. Government control, Kaya. Oh, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> he who I can the platform of flat Earth. Government he who control. controls the flat Earth controls the Earth. How does, Keeping... how does me thinking the earth is round make me more susceptible to control? <laughs> Tradition. Uh, Kaya, I just, uh, Jesus Christ, man. It, you, you're, making me, you're making me worried that people need to get a mental health check, would you say? The, uh, well, yeah. Well, if you want to get a good old health check and take care of your health, you can head on over to Roman Health. There are many things that men need to take care of in their life with their health. There's a knee injury, a bad back, something worse. And guys are usually more comfortable just rubbing some dirt on it than seeing a doctor. The same is true for erectile dysfunction. Studies show that 70% of guys who experience it don't even talk about it or get it treated. But Roman Health has made an easy way to get checked out by a doctor and treated for these symptoms online. Roman is a one-stop shop where licensed U.S. physicians can help you diagnose erectile dysfunction and others men, other men's health issues and ship medication right to your door. There's no waiting rooms, no awkward face-to-face -face conversations, or uncomfortable trips to the pharmacy. You can... So get yourself on to Roman Health... Pop in the code official in the URL and make sure that you get yourself checked up, fighting fit, and looking like Captain America. Get Roman.com slash official. Uh, anyway, Flat Earthers. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> what, what, uh, what arc in this anime of flat earth thing did we leave off on? We were talking about uh, why, why, arcs, why, first of all. why would we, why we would even do this? What's the point oh, in even convincing people yeah. of a flat earth? I think uh, now, from what I've listened to from like flat earth or get ups, which looks like a lot like a Reddit meetup, they like to believe that thinking the earth is flat is freeing their mind and letting them think more abstractly and like read between the lines. It's just, it's more mm. of like a uh, mind expansion thing to where they're... You want to feel special. Yeah, yeah. I guess. You want to be okay. the guy who saw yeah. through the Matrix. You, everybody wants to be Neo. Like, oh, you know, so... it's just the machines and the Matrix keeping us down, keeping the keeping all of us down and having us believe the round earth for God knows why. <laughs> so it's it's counterculture where they go, those idiots, yeah. those sheeple believe in the round earth, but I know better. I'm the one with the info. It's that kind of shit. From what yeah, I've I, I'd heard, assume yeah. so. Okay. From what I can gather from this Twitter account. So how, how much do you think, how many flat earthers do you, do you think we could genuinely stop in their tracks when, when they're ranting about how the earth is flat and all the planets are perpendicular to us perfectly we just put a hand on their shoulder and say it's okay we understand we get it you're accepted how many think we'll just stop in their tracks i i don't think there's any stopping it now yeah. carl well, sagan the two green. carl sagan had a really good um demonstration of what proved the earth was round like two thousand years ago and I thought that was super insightful. What was it? <laughs> Kel's like, what? Yeah, back back during the birth of Christ, he threw well, the baby he, and go ahead. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very paraphrasing this because I don't remember it exactly, but it was something about uh, one guy thousands of years ago uh, paid some guy to walk towards him from like a set amount of distance, and he'd measure like the shadow or something. So then, what Carl Sagan did is he repeated that experiment on a piece of cardboard and using like two toothpicks for the locations. And when you bend it, it sh- it's hard to explain. Jesus, Carl Sagan, if you're out there, can you can you show us? So again? He, he was just <laughs> you know, showing Charlie, the uh, curvature of the Earth. He was showing that the Earth couldn't be flat because the sh- using the shadows and the, the angle distance, of the sun. Yeah, yeah, I feel okay. like you don't have a very good chance of Carl Sagan coming on the show and explaining his experiment. I'll yeah. just put that out yeah, there. I think I think his chances are slim. <laughs> but, uh, but considering but we, he died twenty something years ago, yeah. it's, it's a fact. There's chance. no telling though. <laughs> Any minute the tutori- now. The we emailed. We, still on YouTube. we emailed him. He might respond. Yeah. Any minute now. <laughs> Carl Sagan died before there even was email. <laughs> oh, he didn't need to no, experience the wonders of Gmail. No, I think there there's was so email. many easy ways to disprove it. The big, quick, easy one is distance mathematics. If you fly planes from same points on different curves, they should arrive at the same time according to flat Earth, but they don't. All this sorts of shit. It's very... That's what big airports want you to believe. Yeah, they, yeah. Just, they, they fly in circles to jack up the ticket prices. <laughs> uh, God, that's Turbulence why they give you only fake. those little windows in the plane so you, don't, you can't see too much of the outside flat earth. The one thing, though, that I do actually appreciate from flat earth, unironically, is that they don't fly. So, you know, maybe we're not so different no. after all me and them. But they choose not to fly. Well, yeah, no, a they lot of yeah, because they would actually, shatter but... their whole reality. <laughs> no, 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 no. They do fly. So not this all of them. Twitter account has been a lot of insight for me. Has given me a lot of insight. They do fly, Charlie, but they do believe that every plane is built with the windows, so it artificially curves the horizon <sighs> mm. to make you think it's curved. So they essentially think that every p- window on every plane is a fisheye lens made to fool the passenger. Again, I don't know why. I don't know what 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 the Illuminati gains out of making us think the Earth is round. I, I actually think oh, it'd be a really God. insightful episode if we could get like a big flat Earther on. Just have like a civil Imagine discussion. We not even have us. T- no, not even have us talk. Just tell him to rant for an hour and a half, and we all just listen. I think yeah, that'd be con- great. Convince us to be flat earthers, yeah. and we'll interrupt you three <laughs> we, times with ads. We we put yeah we put a, we put a stopwatch for an hour and a half, and go. You have an hour and a half to convince us. Just go. <laughs> just start talking. 
<laughs> I think that'd be amazing. I think that'd be fantastic. But uh, I don't know who. And he would comes do up it. with the best argument we've ever heard, and then we all become flat earthers. I don't want to take that risk. Yeah, I'm just sitting in a pool of my own urine because I'm just so blown away. I can't wait oh, for yeah. uh, I can't wait for flat Earth to become the norm, and then people saying it's round just become idiots and ostracized by society. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's round. That doesn't make any sense. That's preposterous. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> I always love I always love those photos that Kai just posted where it says this is not our reality where it's like it's like a marble like we're li- we're, they think we're living on a marble or something <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what the this fuck to say this is fucking stupid this is so goddamn motherfucking stupid how the fuck is this real I make sure Jackson when you when you for the video, make sure you put the the pictures here so people have a uh, point of reference for flat Earth. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, well, yeah, I mentioned the accounts for them. the point of oh reference. Oh my god! Have to oh my some fucking god! This is literally caveman. This is caveman explanations. These are the same fucking people who who fucking look at the sun and go, "Oh, sometimes it goes away. It, it must be it must be spinning around us." <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. I can't possibly fathom how fucking moronic you have to be to believe this shit. Yeah. It's this is literally the guy who... a toddler's explanation of what's going on. <laughs> she said she was having a lot of fun. Yeah. I can't help but laugh at stupidity, and I think flat earthers take the cake for just the strongest evidence of genuine human stupidity. I mean, that's a problem. Oh. Just know that somewhere Chris Evans or something's following this account under an anonymous account. Going like yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I could. I wish I could retweet this on my real account. You know what we. You know what we need to do. I just had. I just had a fucking brain blast. You know what we need to do. You know how there were all those uh, cultural giant Earth movement movies like 2012 and mm. the day the Earth stood mm. still and through the, did all that. We do a movie where the Earth becomes flat and everyone's in danger of going over the side. Mm. We should do it. We'll get Tom yeah, Cruise. Yeah, like it's tilting. Yeah, it's tilting, and everyone's falling off. We get Tom Cruise, and they have to they have to build a rocket to push the other end of the Earth down and stabilize it. I think I, I could pitch that to Hollywood and make millions. <laughs> I actually think that would go over super fucking. That's well. exa- I, I'm not joking. Yeah. I think this would be a great movie. <laughs> I'm actually surprised there hasn't been a conspiracy movie yet about. NASA or something trying to cover this up like an actual big budget Hans Zimmer <laughs> I love that it's got just like Blue Planet it's called Flat Planet it's on Netflix it's a documentary <laughs> oh, I, if man. I was Netflix oh, I'd put Kaya. money in releasing that you just reminded me have you seen Ancient Aliens at all like actually watched it no, I, I oh, my dad man. loves I, that show. Oh, I know, I know, Carl, Carl, I, Carl, I know Carl said uh, I sound like that guy, but that's it. I've recently been checking out those uh, hypothetical history shows like Ancient Aliens and all that stupid shit. It's the best What's show. It about? Oh, it's the best show ever. It changes every episode. It's basically just a bunch of conspiracy theories or historical theories that aliens were involved in certain parts of development. Like the one that I watched was <laughs> called Spaceship Moon, and it's the idea that the moon is hollow and it's an alien spacecraft that came to the Earth and never left. Dude, that'd be so cool, though. That'd right, but, so but cool. my point with it is it's tying into this flat Earth... Know. It's tying into this flat Earth shit where every single theory they ever present, they, they always try to wrap it back to the stupidest idea ever. Like, in the Moon episode, they go, we sent probes to the Moon to ring gongs throughout its surface to see what noises <laughs> would come back. And, like, this is an actual experiment NASA did to, like, measure density and all this shit. But then after they say that, and show the actual studies the narrator just goes could this hollowness be evidence of alien spacecraft and then they just start bringing in 20 people to try and uh, collect that theory and prove it and every single episode is just they take a concept of a tiny actual experiment and blow it up to go could this mean that there are aliens involved and it's like flat earth where someone sees a photo of a fucking city and go there's no curve in New York could this mean the whole earth is flat (laughs) 
<laughs> it's such horseshit. <laughs> Is, I want to know, though, is uh, Michael Jordan, does he believe this also? Because I think he said some similar things, right? He either doesn't believe we went to the moon or he thinks the Earth is flat. I think his I think... was the moon landing. Was it? I have to look this up. Yeah. The, the basketball player, player Michael Jordan? Yeah, that yeah. guy. Jesus. Douchebag, yeah. I thought, yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think he could be more of an asshole. God. Why is he an asshole otherwise? He's apparently a giant dickhead to everybody. Oh Jesus! Yeah, both in the NBA and as an actor, like he's completely full of himself. He he knows that he's hot shit, or was, I guess, and just acts like it. Yeah, he's he's still hot shit. Well, yeah, kind of not no. LeBron James is kind of the current hot shit for what he they Jordan could, they was. Can be too hot shit. Well, Jordan Jordan doesn't even play anymore. Plus, LeBron James is going to be... Like... Look, the hot shit in basketball is defined by who stars in Space Jam. And LeBron James is going to be in Space <laughs> Jam too. okay? Case closed. What the mm, fuck? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, God, I don't feel like reading this whole article right now, but the headline is Why Athletes Are Drawn to the Flat Earth Theory. <laughs> I can only why? imagine. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, I'd honestly like to know what the fuck is going on in like the NFL and the NBA making people believe the Earth is flat. I know. I remember uh, okay. concussions. All right, all right. No, 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 no. Let, all right, here, here. Let me correct the record. Unfortunately, Shaquille. This is from Yahoo Sports. Unfortunately, Shaquille O'Neal isn't actually a flat earther. He oh, says, "I'm joking, you idiots." Okay, oh, thank, thank fucking, fucking God. Okay. God. Shaq would hurt me personally. <laughs> that would be a rough one. That'd be a yeah. rough pill to swallow, honestly. Oh, my God. No. Dude, he, Shaq's not allowed to be a flat earther. He's just allowed to be a big, goofy <laughs> idiot who doesn't fit in anything. Well, Shaq is like an, en Shaq is an enlightened being. He's so tall oh, yeah. he can see the curve. Just like normally. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think you ever, He's proof. you ever think Shaq just walks up to flat earthers and he like pretends he's looking in the distance and he goes, "Yep, there's the curve. There it is." <laughs> he holds a GoPro up high enough to prove him wrong. I want to think that somebody from the Illuminati pulled him aside, like, "Is that Shaq? The the people aren't ready yet. You can't reveal this. <laughs> they would not understand. They fear what they don't understand." <laughs> Shaq was like the most dangerous weapon to the, the the conspiracy theory. The diesel, we can't let them divulge the secrets. <laughs> I just want to know what the fuck they would get out of it. What what do people like? Most other conspiracy theories, like the oh the Jews run the planet. Okay, I get that. The, the idea is that there's this one tribe running everything, so they can consolidate all the power. What? But why? What does the Earth being fl uh, round give you? Because you know, is more powerful now. Because Kaya, you know that gravity is the strongest force there is, and if we can take that down, that's one step closer to freedom. <laughs> oh, it's only our belief tying us to the Earth. Yeah, exactly. Like if, if, if we realize <laughs> as that soon it's as everyone it, stops believing in gravity, we'll all float away to heaven. Yeah, it's like interstellar. <laughs> like gravity is just this malleable thing throughout time, and if I stop being fooled by the zionist cabal somewhere in israel i guess wants me to believe the earth is flat and gravity is a thing no no it's buoyancy baby and i'm lighter than air and if i want <laughs> i can float away from the earth it sounds like some straight like reddit and like beard shit like i've ascended i see the particles that you can't possibly comprehend with your globe tard mind oh my god <laughs> yeah. they call us globe tards oh yeah, yeah. do they actually yeah. Oh, yeah is that an actual term yeah. This, this, this fucked up. Well, hey, up. In, hey. To be fair, though, we just call them flat earthers, and we're already insulting them. So, I mean, flat well, earther I mean, itself is derogatory. Flat earthers. Exactly. Yeah, they call themselves that. It's like a slur, though. You, you've never been seen people call each other flat earthers when they're meaning someone's stupid. Well, yeah, but they themselves don't consider that to be a slur. They uh, like to be so they're, they're taking earthers. it back. Then got it. <laughs> yeah, it's like the N-word, yes. <laughs> God, I'm right, the earth is flat. Yeah. And I'm proud, I'm stunning and brave. Watch my flat earth pride parade where I wear a little floating balloon of a flat earth. What's, fl what's up, flat earther? God, Jesus just... Christ. It's, uh, I can't, I just, I want this to become like a tribe, like a whole movement, like a whole power. Well, it is, uh... 
No, but I mean, I mean, one that gains influence and grows. Flight? They start like a micro nation. They forge into the government. They have like elections and shit. I would love the flat Earth to expand to a whole conglomerate oh, yeah, yeah, of people. Because that's what we need. Yeah, that's what, it's not. Right it's now, not it's... enough that anti-vaxxers are running Hollywood, the Hollywood propaganda machine. Now we just need the flat Earthers to control the government too. Fuck yeah! Let's Before do it. you know it, science will be illegal. <laughs> He is science so, extinct. So, uh, I have a question for you, boys. Oh, he is. I have, a, I have a question for you, boys, then. Say say flat earthers take control. There's a flat earther president, a flat earther vice president. They are... How do we know that's not already the case, Andrew? <clears throat> Fuck. Yeah. No, but let's say let's say flat earthers becomes, like, a powerhouse. Like, they, they say it, they believe it, this and that. They take control. And let's <laughs> say President I'm Flat dead. Earther... Flat Johnson, that's his name. He he does a bunch of experiments, and he goes, guys, unfortunately, shit, I, I have conclusive proof that the Earth is round, but we need to fix that. How do you think they would go about <laughs> mali- ma- ma- making the Earth flat? Like, what's their game plan oh, if they I find out it's press round? Channel. Yeah. <laughs> they just start hydraulic press channel. Just a giant you- press? I, yeah, I'm you're talking about my certain planetary def- terraforming now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'd have to build do gigantic you, machines like in Man of Steel to do you, do you shape think, the world into a do donut. Do you think they'd try to gr- drive to the end of the Earth and pick up all the dirt and move it to the middle and smash it down? Do you think they think that would work? Ooh, no, I, I definitely... The way they would go about doing it is I think they'd go for like a, like a particle type deal. Like they'd go straight up in the sky like with an umbrella type machine and pull down really hard and hope that it starts to deflate like a soccer ball from the inside. <laughs> yeah, just, just punch holes into it. Yeah. It's just a giant soccer ball the, o- the ozone layer is what's making us flat. Or uh, round. Yeah. If we flatten the ozone layer, we flatten the earth. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I just also think the it's ground the whole Vaccinations is what makes the earth round. That's the problem. Gives kids oh. autism, makes us into a globe. <laughs> Fucking hell, there really is that. no winning for us. <laughs> Fortunately, not. I think the problem is science at the end of the day. I implore mm-hmm. any of you out there, please, any of you listening, who seriously believes Flat Earth, isn't doing it for jokes or memes, actually 100% believes it and listens to us, please reach... Jump off the edge. Well, do that. But then when you're falling through space and you get a Wi-Fi from a passing satellite, send any <laughs> any of us a message. I would love to just hear your side of this. I would love to hear the rationale <laughs> and the reasoning behind it. I, I am <laughs> so into this. However the hell Damn. satellites do work, the first thing I would do as a flat earther go is go to Robinhood.com. And could, <laughs> could you tell me about it? Yeah, yeah. So Robinhood was a, uh, a, he had a band of merry men and he robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. So if you want to uh, take that philosophy, but twist it a little bit to just uh, help yourself get rich and diversify your assets and uh, manage your money wisely, then you can use Robinhood, the investing app, which lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos all commission-free. It's a non-intimidating way to get into the stock market for newcomers and has a simple, intuitive design that allows you to digest everything that's going on and feel like, hey, you know, I actually know some of this uh, money-making business here. There's no cost or fees, and it is an easy-to-understand app with charts, market data, and a place to trade in just four taps on your smartphone. You can learn by doing, by building your portfolio, discovering new stocks, and track your favorite companies. And best of all, because everyone's glued to their phones and looking at their screens and always blowing up with Twitters and YouTube notifications and text messages, you can customize your notifications for price movements so you will never miss the moment to invest. Robinhood is giving our listeners now, right now, this second, hurry up and do it, a free stock for companies such as Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help you build your portfolio. And you can get that by going to official.robinhood.com. That's official, the name of this podcast, dot Robinhood, the name of that guy who wore green tights, dot com. And you are going to make your money decisions easy that was beautiful andrew free stock free stock it's cool yeah no seriously get free, free stock. stock okay i want to i want to know then you because you guys know all about this one and i only know the name what is chemtrails oh boy who wants yeah, to take this one exactly i know it's a big one but i only know like fiddles and bits of what the chemtrails thing is 
I, chemtrails I, is literally just you know those trails airplanes leave behind andrew yeah of like condensation or whatever the difference in air yeah, pressure yeah. between the yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's that's them chemtrails so they believe the... that those are they think that all of the airlines i guess in the world are paid to release the government's gases into the atmosphere <laughs> and that's what the chem that's what those trails are they're chemical trails meant to keep us down with some sort of a sedative chemical or something else that'll make us believe that the earth is round and why are you telling him kaya and if andrew doesn't know that this, it, it sounds if andrew already doesn't know about this the chemtrails didn't want him to know it's yeah. gonna wait man it sounds like a fucking comic book super villain plot i'll release all the government's gases via chemtrails <laughs> yeah <laughs> no i do you know Andrew, are you aware of the fluoride thing? That the one I do know, water? yes. That one yeah, I know. It's basically yes. the same thing, except this is like, why are there chemicals in our air? How come those planes are leaving ke chemical trails behind? What is that stuff that they're making us breathe? <laughs> it's it's Alex Jones tier stuff where like, uh, you know, the fluoride in the water is making us gay. I actually, I looked up, I looked up chemtrails again. Chemtrails is huge. Holy shit. I didn't yeah. realize how many people believed that when planes are in the sky, <laughs> they're dumping poison chemicals on us. They attribute it to dihydrogen monoxide. Yeah. Uh, oh my it's god! Big. This is how people like Alex Jones sell their fucking Charlie, ionized that's water. filters. <laughs> that's, oh, monoxide! <laughs> yeah, Jesus! Yeah, water, Andrew. <laughs> dihydrogen <laughs> monoxide H two O. This is, see, there is a vested interest that in a lot of these people have to, to spread this idea. I'll tell you guys Andrew something fun. like the urgent scientist rushing to the room to tell you that it was water. <laughs> he's, a, he's a scientist at the My beginning God. of every cataclysm movie that nobody listens to. He's just some little yeah. schmuck with a paper clip and a board clip like, yeah, the, the earth is, you're going to listen to me. We're going to blow the earth and destroy nature. And then they don't listen and we all yeah. drown in lava or something. So uh, <laughs> Andrew's absolutely right. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> moron. Dihydrogen monoxide is the chemical composition of water. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they attributed to dihydrogen monoxide. We're all fucked. It's in everything. <laughs> We're 70% dihydrogen <laughs> monoxide. <laughs> you morons. No wonder people believe this shit. The reason a lot of people believe it. this is that... A lot of the people who sell the antidote to this stuff, who, who are selling their snake oil, are disseminating these ideas for free. Like, <clears throat> did you know that Alex Jones syndicates his show for free? If you will host him, he will go on. I didn't know this. Really? So what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, how it works usually is if you're a, let's say you're a host on Fox News or CNN, whatever, you're Tucker Carlson. If a TV station wants to host you, they usually have to pay you, right? They have to pay you some royalties and this and that. Alex Jones doesn't do that. Turns out he does it for free. His only condition is that he also will get to run his own advertising. So what he does, he's, he does his own show for free where he scares you with chemtrails and fluoride in the water making your frogs gay. He's, and then he follows that up with his advertising about toothpaste that doesn't have fluoride in it so you don't become gay. That's right? genius. That's how the yeah, scam a works. He's a, he's a scam artist. That's fucking yeah. ingenious. Yeah. I love that's, that. That's a pretty standard scam. Wow, yeah. Pretty cut and dry. Guys, everyone out there, you need to be aware of the dangers of dihydrogen monoxide. I will sell you the cleanest water in the world, free of dihydrogen monoxide. You won't find any of it in there. It's an empty bottle, but it is delicious. That's fucking ingenious, though. I bet you that works mm. really well. I'm fuck. I'm fucking floored by the the chemtrails. Holy yeah, shit. give me. It's, it's I wanted to. Massive. I wanted to go back on that. What else have you found that isn't genuinely stupid about chemtrails? No, no, no. no it's, it's all stupid. It's all, it's all really dumb. It quite literally is. If you look up in the sky and you see the shit left behind by the planes, that's poison. That's that's their. That's and the a lot of argument. people believe that. Oh, an <laughs> unbelievable amount of people believe that. Wow. Yeah, I had no idea this was so huge. I remember it like got steam years ago, but it's still massive. Wow. So do they celebrate 9-11 for destroying an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, know. You know <laughs> Jackson, I'm, I'm going to guess that a very small amount of people on Earth celebrate 9-11. Just a, 
<laughs> just the, mi- the minority okay. of people. The, the Middle East isn't very small, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, fair, I guess. My best friend literally still thinks it was the Zionists who did it. That's, no, that's fair. That's fair. I was, <laughs> I was speaking in America. I meant in America. Okay, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I decided to read some comments on like a Kim Trails documentary. I, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so this is from Jessica. So they dump fuel day and night. It, it, they're never going to fly anywhere. It can't be fuel. I'm paraphrasing because <laughs> it's long. But her point is they're dumping fuel that can't be actual fuel because we wouldn't have any fuel left to fly anywhere. That's, yeah, that's wow. a good point. So it's, I it's never thought of it like that. Poison chemicals. They got us because one thing is for sure. No one ever looks up. Everyone's on their phones. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Oh, God, yeah. I, I love that trend of old, grumpy yeah. people just saying, oh, smartphones are making our society worse. Oh, I love that so shit. Okay. That's my fucking well, not worse, favorite. but dumber for sure. But yeah, dumber, I, I less I social. I trays are to blame for it. Dude, I think we could. I think we could start one of these where we say that uh, mobile phones are releasing chemtrails as well. I guarantee, no I guarantee, guarantee you, you that's listen. already there. I guarantee you. Have, okay, you don't have to do this when there's already a very real threat of exercise releasing dihydrogen monoxide in your body. Exercise, fasting, eating healthy. You don't want to do these things, guys and guys only. By the way, get fat, <laughs> ladies. You want to fast. Good callback. Yeah, you want to lose some hell. Yeah, some <laughs> weight. Yeah. <laughs> For my benefit. But I, I guarantee else. you, man, it might not be big right now, but I guarantee you there are sm- smartphone conspiracy theories out there about oh. mind control or something, sapping our sex drives because we're just distracted with it. Guarantee fucking teed. Maybe there are chemtrails in it, who knows? I mean, that's one I would believe. That's the one, out of all of these things, like flat earth, no, but if you told me, like, the, the cell phone's signals are, you know, somehow interfering with your brain chemicals, eh, that's kind of a little more believable than the deflated Only because you want it to be believable. Yeah, because it's new technology. Has it been- it's bright and scary. I mean, Has it been disproven? Okay, let, let's not go too far with this anti- stance either it's not like yeah video games do make people into fucking virgins that's not exactly a very uh <laughs> conspiracy theorist stance god i wish i i should set up a soundboard or something to like fucking carl like a boomer and mm-hmm. a, occasionally play a alex jones rants because some of them are just majestic careful they might be copyrighted he, he might bring the hammer down on us <laughs> i don't think so i mean if he's doing a show for free I was thinking about playing this one about Justin Bieber and, and McGellan, but Jackson, how, how are those questions looking? Should we do them now? Also, before we get into the questions, I would like to say the new John Wick is looking like shit, and it really hurts me to see. Mm, isn't it a wait, TV did show? Did something now? new come out? Yeah, it's just, it looks like it's really... Is it there a trailer? A, no, no, it's just another picture. It's John Wick with another dog standing next to Holly Berry, who also has a dog, and they're walking through the desert. <laughs> Isn't it a TV show now? Oh, no. No, Chapter 3 is a movie, but they want to make a TV show. Ah. See, Holly Berry used to be a cutie, like, 20 years ago. Isn't she, like, 70 now? She she still looks good for her age. Yeah, I can tell, but I don't know. Yeah, why, why does he have a new dog? His, his current I dog is already it's... alive. It's be it's because the that's his thing. So now he's always gonna have a new dog, and now everyone around him is gonna have a dog. I don't know. It just it's looking like so goddamn generic and shitty. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Have you guys it's seen the sad. Hellboy trailer? Yeah. No. Which looks really, really bad. I mean, that is yeah. some real shit right there. He's he he sounds so demotivated and bored. Oh, every God, line yeah. de- delivery is like, oh, did you see that? Oh, is it Ron Perlman? No, yeah. they didn't get no. They didn't get Ron Perlman against the sheriff from Stranger Things. It's David. Oh Arbor. yeah, sorry, sorry, I confused oh, the names. Yeah, it's right, yeah. what's his name again? David Arbor. Yeah. It's the same guy who did Hellboy before. No, no. Ron Perlman did it before. Oh he right, was right, right. Yeah, Ron Perlman and was Ron, awesome as Hellboy. Ron Perlman yeah. is the guy who bragged about pissing on his own hands when he shook. Oh yeah, somebody else's yeah, hands. No, I that love Ron idiot. Perlman, and he's really great as Hellboy. So that makes me that sad. That galaxy brain. David Harbour is the guy who made an awkward appearance at the Golden Globes or something. But his deliveries are just so bad in this movie. He 
he sounds bored to be there to exist i think that the, i think they tried to make hellboy more like whiny because i don't know yeah like exa- that's the word though right he sounds like a yeah. whiny teenager like i don't want to yeah. like they asked one of the guys asked him what his arm's good for and he just looks at it and he's like i'm smashing things good <laughs> yeah remember the poster i forgot what what it's the exact wording was on the poster but when they first released the poster it was something like dab on hell or <laughs> what was oh, it oh my I don't think no, it was dab on that. hell. No, Charlie, it was something either. It was either that or something e- e- equally. It's going to be something like lit. I'm calling okay, it yeah, now. Like, yeah, yeah, it was, hell okay. guaranteed. It says, it's going to be like hell it, is lit or something. No, okay, I'm reading legendary, it. It says, lit as hell. Legendary as lit fuck. As yeah. The, oh, <laughs> God. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, go on, I wasn't too far off. No. Oh, yes. God, that's painful. Might as well. Might as well dab on hell and. Oh, Christ. Dank that Satan be, or whatever. That would be legendary AF, bro. Fuck, man, that's Epic. totally lit. Yeah, God, this looks ass. Okay, well, John Wick. Th- I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, ho- I'm putting some hope in here. I like how you set up all the viewer questions. In John Wick. Hmm? You're putting hope in the new John Wick, or I want or to that believe movie, in Keanu Reeves. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. But the movie just doesn't look good. See, I want to too. And you remember, like, oh yeah, he did the Matrix. He can do a good action movie. And then you remember the sequels, and you're like, oh, he has been in shitty sequels. So, yeah. well, well, he can still be a good part in a bad movie. That's also yeah, true. You know what I mean? He can still yeah. be a good actor. Yeah, maybe. I we'll like see. how you uh, hyped up the viewer questions, and we're almost out of time. We we're barely at an hour. We can do plenty of questions. Let's go, yeah, Jackson. Hit us, Jackson. All right, so this one is one that I actually really liked. It comes from Pirate King Tim, because this is a subject that I really like. I love some of the early episodes where you guys talked about paranormal stuff. What are some of your favorite paranormal stories slash creepypastas? In general? Not happening to us? Yeah, just in general, I think. I I guess. I I liked Slender Man before it became like a mass-marketed thing. I thought when did you like the the, the video game? Is that was, yeah, was that your the, first like introduction to no the no not at character? all not at all the original photos from something awful were how I found out about it and I remember reading about him on like one of the wikis maybe Encyclopedia Dramatica and I just thought it was really cool and well done and the game was pretty all right I mean in its time the game was fantastic for what it was but then uh, now it's just a Hollywood production machine, so, yeah. Yeah, that came out, like, eight years too late. <laughs> yeah, it's just a weird... It it's was, become that, such a fucking that flounder that of itself. So fucking weird. Yeah, and yeah. then there's another Slender game, you remember, but you get attacked by, like, cultists in a warehouse, and you have to run away from a little baby, like, totally missing the fucking what? point. There's a Slender game where... Um, you do like you run through like a big open field and you're wa- recording everything with a camcorder and you find the pages but as you do the world just like keeps changing and like you're in a warehouse and you get attacked by a cultist with like dreadlocks and then there's like you go to a church and a little feral baby child kicks the door in and chases you it, just completely missing the point and uh i i liked old school slender man but now it's just like uh, they fucked it mm-hmm. they fucked it up mm-hmm. so yeah there you go I, I don't thought, know any creepy pasta. Yeah. I'll be honest. I always thought a uh, Loch Ness monster was cool. I don't know if that counts as paranormal. <laughs> <but> like creepy <laughs> pasta. That's no, not a creepy pasta at all. Yeah, that's very old school Bigfoot yeah. sighting tier. <laughs> yeah, but I like that one. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. That's like a, it's like a, such a late nineties, early two thousands cryptid. Oh, it's, yeah, it's like early forties. It's very old. No, You're underestimating its age. Yeah, That's probably. Why it's real. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I really want to nothing. <laughs> yeah, because it's never been seen again. I want to. Uh, <laughs> I want to addendum mine. Actually, Slender Man's not my favorite because I just remembered Junji Ito, the the manga artist who draws the really fucked up and creepy visuals. Because he kind of gets passed around as creepy pasta stuff. His stuff is my absolute the, the favorite. The spiral, the spiral one yeah, is really good. The spiral um, one. What's the the the, the, the enigma? The, and, the, the enigma yeah, and yeah, Gary yeah, Fault. The uh, my favorite one's the Infinite Dream. I think I think I talked about the Infinite Dream on the podcast. But any any of his work is my absolute favorite. I, I read it constantly. Hmm. So that's that's my actual answer. There you go. Anyone else? Um, I don't Charlie, really you, have. Have, you have to no, Charlie. You have to have something else. Come on. I thought you'd be right into like the, uh, you know, the creepy pasta side of the internet and stuff. I always like thought that. the creepy pasta stuff was pretty underwhelming. I like the stuff that had at least like 
anecdotal shit from uh, weirdos that say uh, Bigfoot molested my mother or something. So I'd like to read those. Mm. But I, I didn't. I never really got too deep in creepy pastas. There's uh, one of my one of my favorite creepy pastas, which I think you'd like, since it's a lot of anecdotal stuff and pictures, uh, like to back up the actual story, is uh, Ted the Caver. It's a really long and interesting insight into a caving guy and all the paranormal and freaky stuff that happens in the dark caves, and he's got pictures to back it up and stuff like that. It's really cool. That does I really sound recommend cool. that if anyone wants to uh, look into that. I can plop another... I don't want to spoil anything. I can plop another one on here. There's some good SCPs out there. A lot of Ugh. them are... A lot of them... Hey, they used to be good, and they're complete, yeah, they they're complete shit now, and a lot of Isn't them there... aren't great, but there are some really good ones out there. Didn't it? Didn't the whole community turn into drama pits? Yes, recently? yes. SCP because is a fucking the... former shell of it, what it used to be. It's fucking hot garbage now. It uh, turned into what? A drama pit, because last time I checked it, people were angry that the monsters weren't gay or something. I don't know, it, I don't know yeah, what it, 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 it tumble, It's what? a long story. Tumble got a hold of it. But they're, also mm. the new SCPs they make now are basically just like fan characters written into the fucking lore. When it, That's not what it's <laughs> supposed played, to be. I have no respect for SCP. I played that fucking containment breach game again recently because everyone's like, it's so fucking good and it's so goddamn scary. The SCPs are creepy. Well, it's the dumbest shit I've ever read in my life. One of them is a, a page that bleeds and that's like... <laughs> That's the scariness of it. It's a page of a book that'll bleed sometimes. There's a uh, the fat thing that shits it uh, shits itself, and you have to like look at it sometimes, or else it'll keep shitting itself. <laughs> there's a teddy bear that bleeds or something. I don't even remember them now, but they're so dumb. Yeah, I, I forgot about the era of SCPs where it was just thing that bleeds. Oh, it's so dumb. So to wrap it up, mine is I don't know any creepypastas. I just don't like these. Uh, sometimes I will enjoy a horror movie, but then the effect it leaves on my psyche annoys me. Like I will watch something on Netflix, like a movie like Lights Out, which is about this beast mm. that only appears when you switch the light switch off. And it's this monstrous silhouette in the dark that you can see and there's two creepy eyes which is really well executed and i know it's just a dumb movie and i'm not scared but you're putting this idea in my head so now when i'm switching the lights off when i'm going to bed at night oh, and i'm I looking at that. this chair with a bunch of my clothes on it or something and in my head i see a person <laughs> oh, like an, a person's outline i know it's not a person oh man but... i fucking hate uh, that man. you know that for sure that actually i'm glad Maybe. you brought that one up kaya when that that movie's based on a short when that short came out that shit always had me like second guessing when i turn the lights <laughs> off i'm like oh, i see you there but i it's know it's really it's really i know really your weakness good. I don't know oh, the shorts, but I, I only know the Netflix, uh, the version on Netflix, the movie that's on there, and it's really well done. Some of the shots, at least, where the woman is switching the lights on and off, and the and the creature appears and disappears, and it's so creepy looking. And I know this is just a fucking movie. Like, what? What am I? A child? Am I suddenly starting to believe this is real? That there's a monster under my bed? But something in you, this, this, uh, the same instinct in you that sees like shapes and clouds. That also sees shapes in dark silhouettes in yep, the dark, yep. like some pile of clothes or dirty laundry on the ground, and suddenly you think it's a corpse or a monster. Just ah, oh, god damn it! God Kaya, you, I, have to, you, I have to turn on the lights just to calm myself down and remind myself it's not a monster about to rape me. It's just my underpants. You know, <laughs> you know exactly what it is too. About to rape me. <laughs> you know exactly. You know exactly what it is too, and you're thinking right. It's it's, it's where contrast. it's where you go in the bed and you're going. Monsters aren't real. That was a movie. That was fake. That actress yeah. was in another movie right after. After. there's no way that could have happened and then as soon as you get in bed and close your <laughs> eyes your brain just goes but what if but yeah. and that's and that's where it starts and there's it just... enough reasonable doubt yeah. it's even, what if it's it's called i'm forgetting the name it's like pareidolia or something this is the phenomenon yeah. where you look at clouds and you see shapes or you look at a smiley face and you think it's a you think it's a human face you look at shapes on the moon the craters and you see the man on the moon or something this thing like i know that silhouette isn't an actual person standing there in my room right now that just appeared with a knife in his hand but <laughs> i can't override that evolutionary instinct in me 
somehow. I have to turn on the light, like the caveman before, who came before me, I guess, who had to light some flint and stone and light the campfire to make sure nobody was in their cave. I have to do the same shit with my light switch and make sure I'm not about to die. It's upsetting. It's annoying. And I feel How like about, a goddamn it's child. It's just get a little light, light, uh, night light. You little baby. Yeah, but, you know, you don't want to be that baby. <laughs> you know, That's the only reason. Why do you have don't, a chick over? You don't want to be like, oh, I, I need the nightlight. No, you gotta you gotta take that shit seriously, man. When she comes over and goes, what's with the nightlight? You gotta look her dead in the face and go, do you want to be eaten by monsters? I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna I'm do that. To... <laughs> <laughs> have you seen lights out? <laughs> oh, no. I've never once been eaten by a monster, thank you very much. <laughs> this light wards off the evil. I mean, it's spirits. not as scary as when you're with another person either. It's obvious that when, you, when somebody's with yeah, you, you go, yeah. okay, thank God, all right, this is. Yeah, she can I'm in the you. real life. This is another person. She's, she isn't scared. He isn't scared, whatever. But when you're alone in your apartment as a bachelor and you're, okay, well, that's. Is, is that a. Mo- I, I know it's not a monster, but what if. <laughs> it sucks, man. Okay, so that answer is. Your paranormal, paranormal there you question go. there. I actually haven't seen the full movie Lights Out. I think I'll probably watch that soon because that short really did have like it, it, it. The really... short was just called Lights Out as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was called Lights yeah. Out as well. Directed by the same guy. It just really was a clever concept that it did yeah. so well on. Yeah, it's good. I, it's I don't think it's a bad movie. Too. I mean, for all for a while, I went on a horror movie ben- binge on Netflix, and it was one of the better ones. It's good. It's decent. Clown's still the best. I still recommend Clown for anyone that wants to watch. You mean a coins? Movie about a killer clown. <laughs> coins, yeah, coins. Jesus Christ. Mm. <laughs> I love that movie. Yeah. All right. Next one, Jackson. Uh, keep talking. I'm looking. Uh, next one, Jackson. I'm putting the pressure on you. I don't give a shit. Mm. Yeah, Jackson. It's I don't not know awkward. what. What were you doing, like, when we were talking about this? Why not scroll looking at other... Yeah. I was talking as well. I was listening. <laughs> yeah, I can't do three things at once. Oh, you, can't, you can't look at things? Yeah, Jackson has to hold his breath whenever he answers a question, because it's too complicated. <laughs> uh, these are all very general questions. So who though. cares? Just read them. Yeah, Why just are you randomize ones. All right. Just go down question, the list. Question, any, any epic pants shitting stories from Inco Boys? All right, Boys? so chemtrails. Let's talk about the no. pants shitting uh, stories. Okay. No. I'm gonna look at Nothing these two. That we right. shared. From the same guy, would you guys date a girl with a daddy kink slash ABDL? What's ABDL? A big... Adult baby diaper lover? Uh, right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ten points to Charlie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is it that? Uh, no. Yeah. No. What's that got to do with daddy kink, though? I would, I'd would. i be fine uh, with daddy, yeah. but I don't think I'd indulge in the diaper thing. I don't think I could do that and feel comfortable. Yeah, no, I'm looking like yeah. a man who hasn't worn a diaper recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah? No. Bitch, I'm wearing one right now. I'd be fine with a girl. I, I mean, you know, if, if she's if she doesn't have her actual daddy issues and she isn't an annoying person with psychological problems, call me daddy all you want. But once you start wearing a diaper, I'm out of the room. I'm, I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, well, that. all right. What about this? You've been with the same woman for twenty years, and she develops incontinence or whatever it's called, and now she needs a diaper. Do you still love her or do you leave her? No, you still love her. That doesn't. Yeah. That's not a sexual. That's a kink. totally different question. <laughs> that's yeah. not a kink. But she has yeah. to wear. A, she has to wear a diaper though. So, so what? That's not a kink. She isn't getting off to it. That's I guess like if if I love a girl and she becomes I don't know God forbid paralyzed, you would still love her. That doesn't mean you wanna role play her being a baby yeah. or whatever the fuck adult baby diaper fuckos are into Jackson there's a difference between mm. needing a diaper and fucking in a diaper yeah yeah I uh, yeah well if you need it you're gonna fuck it aren't you? no oh. she can just like uh, let's just drop this <laughs> fuck <laughs> this I'm done fuck that adult baby diapers are pretty uh the community's pretty wild a lot of them oh yeah are, uh, a lot of them try, like they strive to shit in their diapers before going to sleep. Like there's a guy. Oh. I was reading a post. I was reading a post from a guy who was giving a tutorial on how to fill your diaper and then fall asleep in it. Oh, oh. man, you, uh, we can. Uh, do you guys know of Pamper Chew? Well, I don't know that one. Oh, Pamper Chew. No, a, but a I can classic. imagine what it is, Andrew. Oh, let me let me tell you about Pamper Chew real quick. Pamper Chew is a a great fable of the internet, like Chris Chan and all those people. Pamper Chew is a man who has Pikachu onesies and diapers, 
and just goes on tirades on every diaper form possible describing his routines and his life about soiling them and walking around shitting them and this and that my favorite though is the culmination where he said he was talking on a forum with other diaper people and he was like yeah i i it kind of sucks i have to run to the store and get more diapers because i'm running out of ones i can reuse and they and they were like wait you reuse the diapers and he goes yeah you just microwave them for a bit and it kills all the bacteria oh what the fuck (laughs) yeah i mean the most upsetting part of this is that in a year or two these people are gonna be on the video game awards like running up on stage (laughs) in a goddamn baby diaper like i'm everything republicans hate and got waving their stat little award oh god ew pika pika pamper chew just just fuck off leave me alone i don't know it's quite the community they have some real wild traditions stunning and, and brave but not for me thank you pass next question uh jackson so, no, why why would you fall asleep uh with the filled diaper though what's the benefit satisfaction you, you're not even a, yeah, you're like not even it. awake Being to a experience pervert, it jacks it's it's i don't know it's, yeah. it's warm and cozy oh, I guess. the best wet dreams you'll ever have uh, imagine how just like stained their ass cheeks must be Ugh. just like permanently stained next with question with jackson <laughs> yeah next have you question ever, th- there's a they actually have a small youtube community well at least they used uh, to probably not anymore after they purged the site but there used to be a community of diaper fillers and they uh, linked them on like the abdl dating forums and i used to watch sometimes yeah they're gonna it's be fucking... on the next youtube rewind here's five <laughs> bucks <Yeah>. betting <laughs> they will be <laughs> No, ABDLs uh, are uh, they're like a dying breed now. No, they'll they'll just just you wait. Jackson, no, I'm, please I'm move on. Is. Move on. We can talk about this like men, thank you. Yeah, I, it's I, diapers. <laughs> duty we're, we're diapers. Big boys. We can handle it. Right. Uh, I actually am not sure, but ABDLs have really been on the steady decline for like the last year or two. <laughs> they're being hunted down. Yeah, Charlie's really <laughs> yeah. upset by it. They're moving into furrydom. No, actually, I think that's what it is. Like, they start transitioning into other kinks, and they give up on the diapies. Oh, because there's just not that much of an audience for them anymore. I'm trying to remember what the name of the ABDL side I used to go on occasionally was called. There was like <laughs> the one you used to be a part of. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my community. I wonder where they are. It was like ABD1, one, one, two, three, me, or something like that. <laughs> oh, no, no, it has God. a little nursery rhyme name, so you can remember making, it. Makingdookies.com. Yeah. yeah Makingbrownies.gov. And I don't remember where <laughs> I found God, it. But... It's run by the government. <laughs> Same people who want us to believe the earth is round. Yeah. That's one of my favorite internet jokes ever, where a fake website ends in .gov. I love it. <laughs> it's an easy joke, but it's great. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, next question. Next question. Yeah. Well, let me fucking finish. From DSKWIGL, who says, what was the best day of your life and what happened to make it so special? Mm. The official podcast started. <laughs> Honestly, probably. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, if I had to add everything up, yeah, I would probably actually agree. <laughs> sad as that is. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing sad about that. No. It's kind of sad. It is. It's it sad. is very sad. Do you have any? I, I mean, to be fair, the, the podcast changed my life. So I would actually yeah, give it to you that. Guys. It's okay for yeah. this to be the best thing. That's not my best day. I and mean, there's a plenty of runners up to that. Um, See, everyone, Kaya takes the official podcast for granted. Yeah, I don't take it for granted. I'm just saying it's not as good as seeing tits for the first time in your life. I think it is. It's more useful. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Charlie? <laughs> I've been trying to dig up the ABDL dating site. <laughs> we can go back to the, uh, the question in a moment, but... I've once again I found myself in the rabbit hole of ABDL YouTube content and the title is Gabby tries to put a diaper on a kid only to end up diapered himself. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's the scary thing when it involves children. Oh, it's fucked yeah. up, man. Oh, no. God, lynch these people. Just kill them. Oh, God. Hell. It's like all those YouTube, all those YouTube um, mom channels where it's yeah. A, yeah, yeah. Oh no! Where they involve their kids in their just overtly sexualized content. Mm-hmm. Like it's just it, it's so brazen, and I don't know how there isn't more of an uproar over it because these channels are getting like ten plus million views a video, and they're making mega ad revenue. So, fuck. How's this like the first I've heard of it in the last week? 
out of, out of. I, I think it's even worse than just like the kids toys channels and stuff like that where they're fucking 11 year old drag queen strippers now it's it's really goddamn upsetting whatever next question jackson all right well you didn't answer what the best day was i did well i mean kind of sort of. i just said what was better than the podcast ow the be- your best day was seeing tits for the first time not necessarily i'm just saying it's not you know i mean you guys are fine but it's a hard question to answer we've been alive for so long let's move along yeah that too i mean i, I think the best day ever that you've ever had would be pretty easy to pinpoint not really no, no. i've had a lot of great Charlie, days do you have a best day? i do yeah I, I have a best day ever that i can always think back on okay when the Ray William Johnson featured the co-op thing, that quite literally changed my life forever, and it was a huge moment in my life. Oh. Well, how, cool. how did it actually happen? I've never heard the story of how you it, found out. There's well, I not guess it would be pretty easy. Well, yeah, there's not like a story. Uh, when he was big on YouTube in 2010, he featured co-op, and then people told me, and then a lot of people came to the channel, and that's that's just kind of how it happened. It was just such a big deal in my life. Were you sitting on your bed as like a 14-year-old, uh, well, a 12-year-old boy? <laughs> well, like, a 9-year-old boy, well, a 7-year-old boy. Uh. <laughs> in diapers. No, the views came in? No, I, I was playing a game. And then uh, uh, people just started leaving comments and I was like, holy shit. His dad That's came in to change his oh. diapers, ended up in diapers himself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next one. Uh, uh, any crazy X stories from DSKWIGL? I've no, answered this question that. in very strong detail, so I'll set it out. When? Oh. Uh, I don't remember that, Andrew. You don't remember me talking about my ex grooming me when she was 24 and oh. I was 17? Oh. You don't You don't remember all of my date stories and my ex-girlfriend story I mean, and this and that? Me- to be fair, that was like seventy episodes ago. Yeah. But now so, that all right. If you want to hear really mine, loud. if you want to hear mine, go to some previous episodes. Shop around. Don't worry. You'll get it. You'll, <laughs> you'll get, get episode you'll get twenty-seven or something. <laughs> yeah. There. So <laughs> it's up to you, boys, to carry this question. Um. No, not really. I, th- this is actually something I'm proud of. When, uh, like last week, when we had that full disclosure, we're recording this on the what is it? The twentieth Tw- or nineteenth? Twentieth. Yeah. When that video came out of that, those Twitch trash, white trash losers yelling at each other, the guy beating his wife and the wife yelling at him and throwing shit at him, I was just sitting there thinking, like, how does this happen to an adult? How do, how do you get in a relationship? Mm. Like, this is the kind of... The way she She's yelled like at him is you don't take that kind of a lip bes- unless you're a 14-year-old still living with your abusive mom or something. And you don't get hit by your boyfriend unless you complete trailer trash, a piece of shit. How does this happen? And I've, I'm very proud to say that I'm, I've never been in an abusive, shitty relationship with a crazy story like that. If, if you yell you at me, you gotta have out, some perspective and empathy. They, no, they no, can't I'm, leave. Yeah, they can. They're adults. What are you, 12? I think there's situations, there's situations that I don't think you understand in those kinds of relationships, dynamics, and, and like I said before, kids. They had a kid. I'm yeah, going to take Kaya's have, side. I, you I shouldn't don't have think, had uh, one then, should you? I'm not, I'm not agreeing that they should stay together. I'm saying it's not as easy and clear cut as, I know as it, just leaving no, for some I, people. Look, I know it's not easy. Here's the thing, though. There's women that I don't like, and guess what? I don't have children with them. That's not quite the that you quite know a difficult of. concept. <laughs> yeah, no, none have knocked on my door. Yeah, with a child support subpoena from the court. But how, how? What the fuck? How? I don't know, man. It's just such Jerry Springer bullshit that they're pulling on a live stream, and I'm just sitting there thinking, like, how the how the hell does this happen? I'm glad this doesn't happen mm-hmm. to me. So, yeah, I'm proud. I don't have any crazy ex stories. All of my exes are, they're, they're decent people. I may not like them anymore, but no one's thrown shit at me or beaten me. I've never had to yell at anybody or Same. beat anybody. This is ridiculous. This is such nonsense. How about one last quick question um, and we'll wrap up? No. How about a question from your friend Jackson? Have you guys ever prematurely ejaculated during. Oh, yeah. During a. Like, yeah. Sex? Oh, yeah. Many times. Oh, yeah. Many I times. actually have a story about how I turned that into the girl being impressed by me. 
<laughs> he said, watch <laughs> this, and just did it immediately. <laughs> no, it was one of the very the first times that I had sex. I realized that, like, maybe a second, third, or fourth time I had ever had sex with a girl. And I was really into it. So we're doing doggy style, and I came way too early, okay? And I keep going, because you know how after you come, you can keep going a little bit, even though it's... You're yeah. Like pushing rope over, at that point. Yeah. You're a little oversensitive, and it's this, um, it's not comfortable for you to do it, but you still you power through mm-hmm. or whatever. So whatever, you know, to save face. it's dripping down. At that point, my cum is dripping out of her because we're doing it raw, and it's dripping out of her, and she's like, did you come? And I said, no. I peed. Because I, <laughs> I pissed myself. <laughs> it's because I'm, just, I'm, too, I'm too proud to say, yeah, I came a little too early. But So I said, no. And she said, oh, my God, then look at look how wet I am. <laughs> it's just dripping with my cup. <laughs> so I turned, I turned the story of how I came too early into her thinking that she was just so wet for me. She was dripping. And that's how you do it, fellas. She probably thought she had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> she probably went to the doctors immediately after that. No, like, she, no, my, no. My Doctor, broken. I don't know what's happening. I was, I was fucking my boyfriend and just <laughs> semen started coming out of me. I just don't get it. I think I'm turning into a guy. <laughs> it's a semen. Like, you can't tell when the bodily fluids mix. You don't, what, you don't know what the fuck's dripping at that point anymore. But she, it wasn't a worried a, a kind of a question was holy shit look at me how wet i am and i guess at that point she was convincing herself that she was really into it Jesus. So I, I was i never i never told her this to this day i'm very happy that i somehow managed to turn me coming too early into her thinking she was just way too hot into me wow good shit and yeah then how much longer did you press on for oh not much long like maybe two or three minutes i mean that was just it was torture yeah, <laughs> it was, it was torture. Like, yeah, like you, know, you know, after you come and like your girlfriend keeps sucking your dick, and you're like, "Oh God, stop touching! Stop touching! Yeah. Stop touching!" Mm. <laughs> it's way too sensitive. Just yeah. stop. <laughs> Just please stop. <laughs> but you don't tell her. It was like that. But yeah, you know, you you white knuckle it. You press your teeth together. I just start slapping her. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from it! God damn it! Go. You harpy. <laughs> Back. Can't you see he's had enough? <laughs> <laughs> You've already performed the fatality. <laughs> he's finished. Uh, that's my story. What is what is yours? Um, shit, I can't really. I, one of you two go first, and I'll try and think. I don't have a story. There's just been a great handful of times in my life where I just come early. I it happens to me far more often when I go a long time without having sex because I'm just like I'm gonna have oh, sex yeah. now. Yes. I get to have sex again. Fuck yeah. And then I go too fast and too hard and I'm just done. I'm like, shit. Mm-hmm. So you, you don't pace yourself. Y- yeah, exactly. I don't pace myself. So usually when I'm dating a girl for the first time or we haven't had have sex before, I just openly admit, listen, the first time's going to suck. <laughs> like, <I'm, laughs> but you'll, you'll sign this contract yeah. that locks you into a two sex deal with me. I'm, you tell I'm, her like, you have a, to break me in. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a gentle I'm a gentleman. I will always get them off. Like I'll I'll do stuff for them, but I'm just like, listen, the first time we do penetration, there's a very high chance it is going to be terrible. <laughs> and then any, yeah. and then after that, I'm, you know, things as I get desensitized, things work out just fine. But yeah, it it happens to me a good amount of times. So yeah. does the inverse happen a lot to you as well, where you just can't come? That that only yeah. usually happens. Or you just not feeling that it. usually only happens in relationships where I'm fucking like every day, usually multiple times a day, where it's like I don't know the fourth time. I'm like I can't fucking do this anymore. <laughs> Let me stop. Yeah, Nothing's I, I happening. It's just randomly to me. It's really? It's actually, so goddamn, you feel bad too. Exactly. Because you exactly. Because you you get in this yeah. mood, you start everything, you get her warmed up and primed, and you're like you're all into it, and then halfway through you're like, oh god, this is not working at all. Yeah, it's the worst. Right, well, here, then I'll toss a question back at you guys because this has happened to me like twice, I think, ever. But uh, with a new girl, and just absolutely couldn't get it up at all, despite their best efforts. Anyone else been there? Uh, uh maybe, maybe once. Maybe once when I was really nervous back when like I was hadn't had sex that much, but now I don't think I have that problem ever. Mm. Maybe like after I've already come recently. Yeah, that too. I 
Mm-hmm. I can get it up easily. I just can't every time. Like there, there has been once one occasion where I couldn't just come and cheat. Like your dick yeah. is a piece of meat, and if you keep sucking long enough, it's just gonna get desensitized, right? And you just zone mm-hmm. out. And at that point, you're like, okay, mm-hmm. stop. L- listen, let me get you off. No, 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 honey, I still enjoyed it. Yeah, I came. Didn't you notice? <laughs> and you start to try and make her feel good about it because she feels terrible, obviously, but. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. And then yeah. It mm. feels worse when you can't even get hard. <laughs> it's such an unfair thing. Yeah. Like the gender thing here, the standard where if you come early, you're a loser and you're a disappointment. But if she comes early, you're a hero and you made her come yeah, early. No, like it's fucking quick. Shit. That's not fair. It's not fair just let me come in my pants when I see a booby. <laughs> yeah. <come on. laughs> it's not fair at all. Like. I wish I th- wish they'd applaud me when I'm thinking of porn on the train and I come. Why does no one stand up and say good job? <laughs> no, I'm just All saying, of a sudden, like, I'm the weird guy. I, I, ju- I just think it's it's unfair if you can make a girl come within 10 seconds. You you're somehow a Superman hero, but if I come within 10 seconds, I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's. I don't it, like it that. Sh- but. It should be a compliment to them. It, they exactly. Made, they it, made us come in ten. It's seconds. not even fucking fair because they get disappointed cool. when they're the ones doing it. Like they're sucking your dick, and it's all about your pleasure. And you come early, and they're like, "Oh, it's like fuck you. You did this. <laughs> this is not a mutual thing." Don't you ever talk to me or my penis again, lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> it's not fair at all. I don't deserve this. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes you just want you just want You're it sensitive. done. Sometimes you just want it. To to be done you're just like you know this is cool but I, I wanted to i just wanted to get off i don't want the sex i just want to be fucking coming that's it yeah they, they get mad at you i for think that. there should be i think there should be more acceptance for erectile dysfunction in general i think it should be a race and the first one to come is the winner <laughs> <laughs> yeah you don't you, yeah if you win you you come the other person doesn't have to get off that's your point. Fair you, get, point. you get to come and that yeah, yeah. tough shit. You should have you should have tried that's harder. Some high, that's some high stakes racing right there. Hey, bitch, like this dick has made other women come before. If you're taking too long, that's on you. You gotta finish that on your own. Then I gotta go and play video games or something. I gotta yeah, stop to go watch. My squad needs me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make them come on Fortnite. I'm going for the speed one yeah. speed run world record tonight, babe. <laughs> oh, Charlie! Have you ever blown off a woman to have uh, to play video games instead of having sex? Oh, no. Or has that always been? No, I've never. Or done has that, that always before. been your priority? That's a lie. Okay, I thought. No, I've. I, I don't think I've ever done that before. You've never blown off sex for any reason whatsoever. Well, I mean, in a relationship, there's other things like sex isn't the priority, but as like a single man, like when you go like a month dry, you're not going to be like, hey, I, sorry, I got to go. Uh, play RuneScape. I got a Slayer grind to get on. But now you would. <laughs> well, in a relationship, if there's like something else, like you know, like important, I think yeah. And I'm sure Andrew can relate as well, and you, Jackson. Yeah, I I think that when I'm in a relationship, Why not me. Shut up! Kaya. I didn't know you were in a relationship. You like fuck anything that has like a hole big enough. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what gave you that impression? I don't know. It's just ever since the ball wax, the ball candle wax, I always use this sexual <laughs> TV. Well, that doesn't mean you can't do that in a relationship, first of all. That's true. No, I've been you in a committed in a relationship. relationship it's just anyway. that I don't bring it up because of all the sick fucks out there who love getting people fired and harassing people's families. Shout out to yeah. you, losers. Yeah. I, I'm yourselves. with Charlie, though, because it's like sex, sex to me is the... Uh, I don't know what to describe it. It's the grass is only always greener argument. When you're not getting it, you desperately want it. And when you are getting it, you're just kind of like, oh, this is nice. Cool. Great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not saying I don't enjoy yeah. it in the relationship. I love it. It's fantastic. But it's like my mind chemistry goes from, oh, my God, I need to get laid to, yeah, we can do it. Sure. This will be fun. What? A- yeah. Oh, wait. You want to finish this movie first? Okay. Cool. Mm. It's a different mindset. Yeah, I agree. But if uh, my girlfriend wanted to have sex right now, I'd leave this podcast. I would yeah. fly to Chicago. Or, you know, just mute my <laughs> mic. Say mm-hmm. I'm sick or something and I can't talk. Yeah. Oh, is that what happened last week? I, <laughs> it I wasn't so. sick at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not admitting to anything. So is this it, Jackson? Have we done two questions out of 25 of them? I think that's a great place to wrap, honestly. 
Uh, see, the, the point of this question thread was that I, we can keep coming back when we need it. So That's not great. We'll, we'll circle back soon. Three weeks from now when we're going to talk again. Mm-hmm. All right. Sounds yeah, good. that was a bad time. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is the last this is the last recording uh, for three weeks, isn't mm-hmm. it? We're taking two weeks off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, for Christmas. I knew you. All right, and with that, everyone have a happy New Year and a Merry Christmas and all that they kind of stuff. They will already have had it. <laughs> they this already comes out it. on the thirty first, I think. No, yeah, on the uh, second. Well, I. It, yeah, something like it that. comes out on the uh, the oh, this comes out on the fucking twenty seventh. Yeah, right. Well, I hope it or was good. I hope that. nothing bad happened. I, I don't know. I hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas and uh, the New Year's. I hope it was all all worth it. Um, we thank you very much, especially you patrons, for your support and for everyone watching. Appreciate it. It's been a great year. Um, yeah. We've got audio platforms like Spotify, iTunes, so if you want to go over there and check it out, it'd be much appreciated. That's it. Mm-hmm. We'll see you next week. Happy Thanks, everyone. Happy next year. What's, well, what's the next holiday? Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Now we can be, mm-hmm. now we can be topical, relevant. Mm-hmm. Happy President's Day. Anyway, Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye, everyone.